We have a Soviet mirror match. Dodd 58 in yellow on the left side versus Josie Joes in blue on the right side. You can see Josie Joes already starting to build up his wall around the refinery, expecting the terror drone rush. Dodd 58, you see here, building that reactor in a strategic point uh, right next to where the ore collectors will be to ward off those terror drone rushes. Those send three bears more or less towards the middle and we get our first glimpse at the micro managing capabilities of both players. Josie lets one bear you know in too deep the three bears easily take him out with a roar. Josie's second bear manages to get a roar off but the other two bears are there to get to swipe him down. Now Josie Josie Joes manages to swipe the two bears with the roar. Now both these bears have their roar on cooldown. You see Josie's engineer running to that oil derrick, but the two bears take each other out with equal swipes, and we're pretty much back to square one. Josie manages to take his oil derrick, and both players begin building their war factories, as you see here, setting up that terror drone uh, rush, uh, or you can go with the circle rush, or possibly even the tank rush will have to see which way it goes. At this point both players are cranking out the infantry units and it, both of them are actually going to go try to get their terror drone rush off. Here we see uh, Die 58 with his terror drone production. Josie responds and they both send two terror, terror drones more towards the middle. Uh, Die 58 has the head start on the terror drones and he looks like he's going to manage to uh, get them into Josie Joe's base, but both uh, both of the ore refineries, I believe, are walled up, so it won't be a big of an issue. Here you go, you see some great micromanaging on Josie Joe's point, using his terror drone to lock down the other terror drone and let the infantry units take it out without any casualties to Josie. The other terror drone is right there behind the base. Again, great micromanaging, uses his own terror drone to lock down the enemy terror drone and keep him from getting into that harvester and because he doesn't have the walls up that could have been potentially damaging but he locks it down and his infantry is running over right now and he's going to take that terror drone out. Now we see just after Die 58 loses two terror drones he managed to get three sickles up and have them running in towards Josie's base. A little action in the middle. Sickles obviously are great against infantry units. Don't really have a problem with the uh, infantry that Josie's been put up to try to stop this attack. Here you see Josie's cranking out units as much as possible, fast as possible, to try to lock down these sickles inside his base. He loses a sickle. He's lost three or four infantry now. There's a terror drone. Matt tries to lock down the one sickle while the other two sickles are taking out his harvester, but, you know, and it, and it seems to work. He gets a tank out, and he's going to have no problem getting these sickles you know, destroyed while they're in his base, but he's on the defensive. He's been on the defensive almost this entire game. All the action from the start up to this point has been on Matt's half of the map, and he's not gaining map control. He's always fighting on his half, and it's putting him on the defensive. Here you go. You see, you take his two tanks. He's going to try to run him in to Die 58's base, and this is potentially dangerous. Die 58 doesn't really have anything to stop it at this point. He's got a couple infantry. You see Die 58 mobilizing his um, his main construction yard. He's going to do a little monster truck rally, I think. Die manages to uh, crank out another tank, and Josie not really on top of it. He just lets those infantry units with the uh, cannons on them just take go to town on his tank and he runs him away into the back of Dai's base to try to get him away but it's not going to matter he's going to die anyway there we briefly saw Dai 58 uh, setting up the next build spot for his uh, ore refinery and this is going to put him ahead in economy and they're both even on tech right now so this is this is big Matt needs to figure out Matt when I say Matt it's Josie that's Josie Josie's first name Matt needs to find a way to either take this out or get his economy on the same level and it's not looking good. They crank out even numbers and they're about to clash again it looks like. Dai sending tanks and two infantry into Matt's base. Here we go, the battle's about to start. If you notice up at the top Matt was able to uh, take 
Russ is Russ would be die 58 Russ is oil Derek uh, it's not gonna really help him compete against the three ore refineries the although or Derek's oil Derek's help out a lot one's about to be taken out and we're gonna see uh, a pretty big clash of forces here three tanks on each side with a little bit of infantry My, Matt has the slight advantage here Matt being Josie Joe's although Russ does some great uh, micromanaging with his tanks and his infantry. There you go. You see Russ's, aka Die 58's tank running over Matt's uh, cannon infantry. So Matt loses that little battle, even though he had the numbers and the firepower in that fight. Cranking out more tanks. You know, Matt's going for revenge here. It's two tanks versus one. He's going to need to run over these infantry guys if he wants to win this fight. Because he's previously in this match, he's been letting them cast. A late, late poison drop onto the onto the area it doesn't really affect anything. Matt does come away with the victory here. Briefly, he's got a terror drone up. He's trying to lock down that tank, but it's not going to do anything really. Die 58. Russ has got more units on the way. He's not really too concerned about his main base right there. He knows that, you know, if he loses his tank right here, he's not going to be able to uh, do en inflict enough damage that Barracks is really helping Russ out. He cranks out a couple of units. Some of them die, but that last one finishes off the tank in the area. Matt realizing he's on the defensive and on the losing end of this battle. He's he's behind in economy by a lot. He's, he's actually behind in tech right now. I didn't zoom over to where it is, but Russ is on the advantage with tech. And Matt's really just trying to get these... Uh, get these tanks and cannon dudes out of his base and it's it's not really working he's uh he's running out of money you can't see it Matt has expanded to the water up in the top right hand corner building an oil or uh, building an ore refinery up there to try to level with Russ's economy but Russ is Russ is uh got there first and he's seeing a much higher uh average income per minute and builds up a uh a defensive cannon there, turret, trying to uh, stop any, uh, you know, land-based attacks, and he proceeds to roll into Matt's base. The uh, cash bounties didn't really help him too much there. He, he would actually probably be better off putting that in his own units, because they were going to lose that fight. Now you just see the general destruction of, uh, of Matt's land base. His uh, con yard's already out in the water at this point, so he doesn't have to worry about that. He's selling off because he knows there's no way he's going to stop that entire force. And he's just, for him to win this game right now, he's incredibly behind on everything, unit production capabilities, tech, and economy. And it is going to take almost an act of God for him to win this battle, especially from the water. Now, Russ proceeds to wipe up what's left of Josie Josie's old base. His uh, construction yard's already out in the water. He's already got the one oil. Uh, ore refinery out there and he's moving his conyard over the second and he's going to try to pick up these water based conyards in order to take the fight back to Russ although he is way behind you gotta love when nobody gives up he just keeps fighting he's going to go to the end we're going to fast forward about 30 seconds in the battle and Russ has developed his naval base and the airfield in order to bring the fight to Matt realizing the fact that the rest of the battle is going to be done in the water there's a brief glimpse of Russ's navy and he just took out the top right ore refinery and at this point the game's pretty much over. Russ's tanks with their secondary armor drain takes out the ore refinery right there by the base from the cliff and this is this is game over with both ore refineries taken out and everything else that Matt had he just sells it off and quits because he he realizes it's beyond you don't have a chance. He fought to the point where it would be one in a million to win and he kept fighting which is commendable but unfortunately it was just not enough today and Russ aka Die58 managed to take the victory here you're gonna see when we get to the resources where Russ really out resources right at the end but that's when it mattered that huge spike in resources provided the units available to Russ to win the game and Matt lost we'll just uh we'll wait for round two